Good morning. Today's lesson is about the slope of a line. We've gone over this in class. The slope of a line, we always use that letter M, equals the rise over the run. The rise is the vertical, up or down. As you remember, if the slope is negative, that means the line is going down when you read it from left to right. If it's positive, that means it's going up. The run always goes from left to right. Positive slope. The line looks like this. Again, that's when the line rises from left to right. Negative slope looks like this, which is when it falls from left to right. Again, so important always left to right. So many of you kids count backwards and it just doesn't work that way. We always go from left to right. If the line goes down from left to right, then it's a negative slope. And as we just saw that line that went up from left to right, that would be a positive slope. The next kind of slope we have is the zero slope. This is a line that's just horizontal it's parallel to the x-axis. That slope is zero because it's going up zero. It's going down zero. So the rise is zero. And the run could be any number. You could go over one or over two or over three. You're, you're still going up or down only zero. So that slope is zero. Finally, we come to the undefined slope. This is a line that is vertical, parallel to that y-axis, goes straight up and down. And so it doesn't matter how far up you go or how far down you go, you're going over zero. And as we all should remember, you can't have zero in the denominator of a fraction. That's undefined. It's undefined to divide by zero. There's no way for us to describe the slope of this line because it's, there's just no definition for dividing by zero. So if we went up two over zero, that would give us that fraction, two over zero, that ratio, which is undefined. So again, undefined slope at vertical lines parallel to the y-axis. If we look at a real-world example, well, here's a roller coaster track and it's going up 10 feet as it goes over 5 feet. And again we say up because we read from left to right from left to right. So even though these kids look like they're going downhill, and they are, we're reading the graph from left to right, and the slope would be 10 over 5, which simplifies to 2 over 1, and simplifies further to just 2. Another example, if we had this hill, as we go over 200 feet, it rises 40 feet. We put that vertical rise over the horizontal run. That would be 40 over 200. And we just simplify that fraction. And we find our slope ratio is 1 over 5. What this looks like when we have two points in algebra take the point 3, 4, and the other point 1, 0, and this line passes through both of those points. And so we can find the rise and run by counting, again, 4 over 2, simplify it to just 2. It's the vertical rise of 4, the horizontal run of 2. Now we have this formula. And kids get this and really, they make it really difficult. And it does look kind of difficult, but what this is saying is that you're just subtracting the y part of the second point minus the y part of the first point. That's your rise. That's the difference in the heights of two points. 
and you're putting that over your run the x part of the second point minus the x part of the first point. That's just how far it goes over. So it's just rise over run. Let's look at an example of this. Here's the point 8, 4, the point 3, 2. We take the y part, 4 minus 2. See here, that, that's the rise, 4 minus 2. It's going up from this one that's on the line where y is 2 to this one where it's on the line where y is 4. So 4 minus 2, and then how far over does it go? Well, it goes 8 minus 3 over, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we just, we can figure this out when we can't count it. You can't always count the slope, so we figure it out. 4 minus 2 over 8 minus 3. So we find the slope of this line is 2 over 5. Let's look at another example. We find the slope of the line through these two points, negative 5, 2, and 4, negative 7. And we do that by just plugging in the x and y values into this formula. The y part of the second point minus the y part of the first point over the x part of the second point minus the x part of the first point. So we would set it up so that it would look like this. Negative 7 minus 2 over 4 minus negative 5. That's just our setup. Now let's just go ahead and solve this. So we change minus a negative into plus a positive. We find negative 9 over 9 which simplifies into negative 1. So the slope of the line through those two points would be negative 1. Now you try one. Find the slope of the line that passes through 2 comma 3 and 0 comma 6. Just pause this here and try and set it up yourself. So this is how we should have begun. 2 comma 3, 0 comma 6. So y2 minus y1, 6 minus 3, over x2 minus x1, 0 minus 2. And then as we simplify it, we find 3 over negative 2. And since it's a slope ratio, we pull that negative sign out front. Again, negative determines up or down. So in this case, it's negative it's going down. Sine determines up or down. In this case, it's negative. It's going down. The rise is 3, so it's going down 3 and then over 2, always from left to right. Thank you. Please rewind and watch again.